Hey Farmhand, Farmer Reef here. Well, we're down here in Toronto, Canada, and here we're here with uh, Dmitry uh, Tumanov, and uh, we're here with this Red, this Red C250. It's a beautiful tank. So today, we're gonna learn a bit about his tank and how he's had all his SPSs are doing so well with all the great growth and great colorization. So, thanks for having us in your home today. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna learn a little information about your tank. So, thanks for having us. Thank you, Ryan. It's my pleasure, yeah. and I'm looking forward to uh, sharing with uh, with your audience uh, what I've learned uh, in my few years of reefing. Perfect. I'll talk a little bit about uh, my current tank, which is called Practical Reef. Uh, so, my name is Dmitry Tumanov, and I am uh, and I'm the owner of Aquatic Log website, as well as I've been uh, keeping fish pretty much all of my life and the past. Uh, six or seven years I've devoted um, my hobby interest primarily towards the saltwater uh, reef scene. So what you are seeing here is my uh, six tank, um, give or take, a uh, couple of tanks here and there. Uh, but basically uh, this is a 250 reefer uh, by Red Sea. Uh, prior to this I had a 180 gallon custom made uh, tank by um, Primo Reef Acrylics um, and um, this tank won uh, several awards in North America uh, and it was featured uh, in a few online magazines um, but it was a little bit getting too big uh, for my taste and I wanted to try something a lot smaller so I have um, thought of building a custom tank uh, but looking at the scene and seeing that uh, uh, now these reefers uh, came uh, into market, uh, that was a uh, pretty good deal and uh, you basically get the tank, you get the stand, uh, I was able to put everything together in under 3 or 4 hours and uh, what you see here is a 3 month old uh, aquarium, yes it is uh, 3 months old, um, I've moved all of the corals from my previous tank into here and I moved them at about a three week uh, mark and I must say that uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that I have not lost a single uh, coral in the process and as you can see this is all uh, high-end SPS corals a lot of them are very uh, fickle um, you can see that uh, coloration is pretty decent um, it's getting to be a lot better uh, in the past month or so um, thanks to the water quality, stability, water parameters, uh, lighting um, and now I'm starting to supplement with uh, uh, Polyplab uh, products uh, because my nutrients are really uh, going down and I'm definitely seeing uh, a difference. So um, I'll say a few words about the tank uh, and hopefully you can benefit from this. Um, so as I mentioned it's all um, high-end SPS. I've designed the aquascape by uh, taking large pieces of rock and uh, putting one on top of the other using acrylic rods so it's all uh, connected. Um, in my previous tank even my corals were all packed but uh, for this tank because it's so small I decided to just glue them on. Uh, I did one large transfer of all the corals and I think having that plus fairly conservative lighting uh, period at the time as well as um, very uh, large water changes I was able to um, uh, to uh, maintain the water quality and not stress the corals. One interesting tidbit was that although my corals were acclimated to very similar uh, lighting by uh, Ecotec, the Radions, um, same part, very similar water, sorry, uh, color schedule uh, and intensity. Uh, I had to dial these guys down a little bit uh, because uh, because this is a new tank, uh, the corals would have uh, died or bleached otherwise. Um, as you can see, I've gone a little bit uh, over uh, overboard with uh, the uh, lighting. Uh, usually, uh, they recommend smaller uh, lighting on this tank, but. Uh, I'm a, I'm a big believer in uh, going all in and uh, once I picked the lighting I just didn't want to even think about the, the uh, spread and the coverage and so far I'm extremely happy with, with this. Uh, um, I've considered going metal highlight before but uh, I find that with this lighting I can 
hit all the uh, right notes with uh, the color intensity, the color spectrum, and more importantly to me, the color rendition. Uh, I've uh, uh, I've been running radiance on my tank for the past two years, uh, especially in the frag section. I've tried different schedules, and um, I was able to get better colors uh, with LEDs than even with uh, the T5 uh, upstairs. However. Um, Going forward, I decided that uh, I'm going to uh, stick primarily with LEDs and uh, with my lighting uh, schedule, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So, um, uh, my lighting, uh, I have uh, had a lot of requests from uh, people asking me about my uh, lighting schedule, and uh, I um, have designed a schedule that's very simple. Uh, it's eight hours of all blue light on with uh, white, red and green all the way down and I run that at an intensity of about 220-260 par uh, measured by uh, the par meter and then um, I um, only add about half an hour to an hour uh, of whatever color spectrum uh, I like aesthetically and then I try to find that time to be let's say at the end of the day when I'm home I want to admire the tank and see what the real colors are then I'm gonna do that but uh, from my experience uh, having these blues on uh, is extremely safe uh, you don't need a lot of light you need a lot less par than I expected to ever uh, uh, you know, SPS corals to need and uh, finding uh, that uh, balance between uh, good lighting, uh, good water flow, and more importantly, um, uh, water parameters. So basically, um, my nitrates and phosphates are uh, always detectable. Um, so I try to add, either, sometimes I dose a little bit of potassium nitrate or amino acids, but basically something that keeps the nitrates uh, at a good level. Uh, basically, uh, that uh, has always uh, helped me maintain uh, good water quality and good coloration uh, with corals. But the lighting that you see right now is basically what I would be looking at for this half an hour to an hour in the evening. Usually the, the tank is a lot bluer uh, than it is right now. So uh, it's very quiet. Uh, it's in my uh, office uh, and uh, I enjoy uh, looking at it. So the corals are now uh, quite stabilized and they're starting to grow, so I expect to uh, be setting up uh, in the frag section uh, another uh, AI uh, 26 um, Hydra HD and I'm going to be using Tanzi uh, power uh, heads to do some water movement uh, in the tank. Um, finally, uh, in terms of my fish selection, I have a fair bit of fish here, some of them are a little bit shy. I did not intend to keep the anemone, uh, but uh, I, I just got too attached to it and I didn't want to uh, upset the clown, so I've actually managed to stick a, a tiny anemone in the corner there. Uh, and plumbing that comes with the Red Sea, um, as I said, I've put everything together in under three or four hours. And I am running the Nios uh, skimmer, uh, which uh, I've been very happy with. Uh, it's fairly small, easy to clean, uh, quiet, so it's and it doesn't use up a lot of space. Um, I'm using a little bit of uh, biomedia, so there is uh, Ciparax over here and uh, the ceramics uh, as well. Um, it's powered uh, by the uh, Ecotech uh, Vectra uh, pump, uh, the M1 which I absolutely love and I like how I can control it all through RiffLink. Um, I did build a, a false wall right over here where basically I've mounted all of my equipment. It's a bit of an overkill again but this is all the equipment that I had on my 180 gallons so uh, that's why I do have pretty much every single bell and whistle uh, that there is. Uh, the um, dosing is a Kamoer uh, dosing pump uh, for channel. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's a, probably one of the best uh, pumps uh, on the market in my opinion. Uh, it's very quiet. Uh, I can calibrate it, which is great. And you cannot quite see it, but I got uh, the liter meter by SpectrePure, which is basically this thing over here. So I have continuous water changes uh, on this tank and auto top off that is happening 150 times a day. Uh, and that has also helped me 
with the stability of the tank as well as uh, doing very aggressive large water changes in the first uh, month or two of uh, the tank being here. So um, that's how I was able to ride out the, the cycle. So uh, the timing is great because for this video because my next project is my corals are growing uh, and I intend to be doing some fragging which I one of my passions as well. I've always liked doing that and I had a frag section in my main tank. So I, what I want to do is pretty um, uh, interesting in my opinion. I'm going to try and hang a, a Hydra 26 right over here. Uh, I'm going to build a little uh, custom um, frag section uh, just for all of my high-end SPS and uh, one thing that I do need here is water movement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try installing uh, this wonderful new uh, um, nanostream uh, pump, uh, the 6040 by Tanzi, um, which has all this controllability and uh, uh, things that I'm very eager to find out more about. Um, what I really like about this is the footprint of this thing. So it's almost as if somebody has looked at uh, this small confines and said, okay, we're gonna give you a, a pump that's not gonna stick out from anywhere and you can direct the flow anywhere you want. So I'm really curious. I have, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea how how this works. So I'm really uh, inter interested in finding out and I see a lot of possibilities here. There's ways that I can mount it on this side, I can even mount it on this side and just kind of play around with the flow. Uh, as you can see there's a lot of uh, debris um, uh, on the bottom right now so I'm pretty sure that's gonna go away. Uh, extra water movement uh, never hurt anyone and um, very hopefully six months from now um, we may do another update where uh, I'm gonna have a frag section here and uh, you guys can uh, get an update on how well the pump uh, performed and um, I'm very much looking forward to it. So that's uh, that's the setup. Um, one last thing is, as you can see, there's a pretty cool uh, lighting uh, that I've built into the tank. This is just something you can pick up at Costco. Uh, it's an LED uh, strip that uh, they use on the countertops, and it um, it's, it's been very helpful. I've had it on my main tank, and uh, this gives me all the lighting uh, that I need when I work on the tank, which I don't try to do too frequently. Some of you may know, I am the uh, creator uh, of a website called Aquatic Log. So uh, aquaticlog.com has been uh, founded, I would say about four years ago and uh, I came up uh, with the idea, as I'm sure a lot of other people have uh, thought of doing something similar, by just um, being overwhelmed with uh, some of the complexities uh, and the uh, stringent requirements when it comes to running uh, a saltwater reef. So you have to be meticulous about your uh, testing uh, water parameters, your water changes, uh, what you do, um, uh, what you introduce, uh, when you introduce it, what do you quarantine. So um, immediately I started to write things down. I started to uh, keep track of my water parameters first uh, on um, just a simple Excel spreadsheet and then um, I decided to put my programming skills to use and I built a little uh, website. At the same time I found uh, another reefer uh, in the States uh, whose name is Brad who is a lot more seasoned uh, of a reefer and he was extremely meticulous about uh, his water parameters and he had an exceptionally great tank. So uh, I've asked him a lot of questions. At the time he uh, had a very nice Excel spreadsheet uh, that he made uh, available with uh, other people and to share and I've used that as a base uh, when uh, I was designing Aquatic Log. So um, I did create a website, uh, I've uh, added some really simple functionality and I just opened it up uh, for the world to use and I was surprised myself to uh, see um, people starting to sign up and, and, and using uh, the website and offering a lot of uh, ideas and suggestions and the features and with the feedback from everybody uh, it helped me make the website as it is right now. So I have over 10,000 
aquariums on the website right now and over 10,000 users. The Facebook page is uh, pretty popular as well and uh, what is great about it is that uh, it offers uh, services such as uh, integration with third-party controllers so you know for example I'm not checking or I'm not inputting manually my uh, water temperature parameters or salinity all of that information is being uh, grabbed from uh, uh, Apex um, controller automatically um, I integrate with other um, controllers as well uh, there is an integration with uh, Ecotech um, lighting uh, schedule and uh, there is an iPhone and an Android app, so people can just input the parameters on the go or check in on the tank. So it's a pretty uh, active community. Uh, people are um, interacting with each other, and they uh, what they have the unique opportunity there is that whenever somebody says something, you can actually see what their tank looks like, and not only at that particular uh, moment in time, but instead you can go back and see where they were uh, three months ago or six months ago, what exactly are they dosing, uh, what their water parameters are at and have they changed it recently, what their equipment is. Uh, you can, for example, if you're running AI lighting, you can click uh, on um, this uh, equipment and you will see all other hundreds of tanks that use the same lighting. Um, same goes for any fish uh, that you may have. If you have that you know, very uh, rare goby and you, you can see all other tanks and you can contact the people and ask them if uh, they feed them differently or if they do something else uh, making sure that they're successful and you will know how long they've had them for and maybe uh, any additional information they want to share with you. So uh, it's been my passion, uh, my, I enjoy programming, I enjoy uh, reefing and uh, it was just, it made sense to put the two things together. Um, so um, it's something that I use myself uh, on a regular basis and I definitely attribute my success uh, partially to uh, the Aquatic Log website. All right, thank you Dimitri for having us in your home. Lots of great information. I hope we can come back in like six months and we'll see how your corals have been growing and coloring up. Sound good? So thanks a lot for having us. It was really nice to meet you. Thank you. Likewise. Uh, thank you uh, for this.